This is your final training session. This time we will focus on all aspects of magic and advanced spell casting techniques. First, let's talk about your altar. This magnificent structure, as you may have deduced by now, is your altar. Your altar is your most important structure since it provides a link to your patron god. In your case, Persephone. Through this link, Persephone can preserve your spirit. That means you'll never die. If your body is destroyed, you will enter an ethereal state. While in this state, you can still command your creatures, but you can't cast spells or gather souls. Would you like to experience the sensation? No sooner said than done. <laughs> I love doing that. Now don't be upset. The link to your altar is keeping your soul from leaving this plane of existence. To come back to life, all you need is the proper amount of magical energy. Magical energy, which we also call your mana, is indicated by the blue bar in the upper right corner of the screen. Notice that your mana is slowly recharging. As your mana recharges, so too does your health. Your health is indicated by the red bar next to your mana bar. When your current mana level reaches a quarter of your maximum and your health reaches full, you will reincarnate. Overall, your altar is a pretty weak source of mana. If you really want to charge up your mana, you must seek out mana fountains. Still, if you are unable to find other sources of mana, your altar will have to do. The altar sounds like a pretty good deal, eh? Well, all that it provides is not without cost. If an enemy can taint your altar by desecrating it, <laughs> you're in big trouble. If an enemy is desecrating your altar, you'll see some creatures called Sec Doctors performing a ritual. Here's one now. As the ritual progresses, you will be struck with magical energy. You will lose health, mana, and experience whenever you are struck by this energy. Luckily enough, Sac Doctors are not very tough, and you can interrupt the desecration by attacking them. The energies unleashed by the desecration will keep melee attackers at bay. So you will have to disrupt the ritual with ranged attackers or spells. Since you only need to do away with one of them to stop the desecration, a single shot of Wrath will do the trick. So remember that although your altar is very powerful, it is also very vulnerable. We'll talk about how you can desecrate an enemy altar in a bit. First, you must learn about mana. Follow me. This is a mana fountain. Supposedly, back in the elder days when the earth was torn asunder and the floating islands first formed, there was a terrible release of magical energies and blah 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 blah. Ancient history. What matters now is that there are magical geysers like this one all over the place. Whenever you stand near a mana fountain, your own natural mana reserves will replenish. A mana fountain is the best source of mana around and will recharge you much faster than your altar. Anyone standing near a mana fountain, friend or foe, will regain lost mana. To keep the mana to yourself and your creatures, you'll need to summon a magical structure called a mana lith. That's right, you put the mana lith on the mana fountain. To summon a mana lith, open your third spell tab and left click on the mana lith spell. Your cursor will now change into a targeting cursor. Highlight the stump of the mana fountain and left click to summon a mana lith. You are low on mana. Now that you follow me and we will continue your lesson.
Beware, good mystic, for we do sense the taint of evil on this island. It may be that one of Charnel's necromancers, the vile Syrix, has come to carry out some mischief. She is formidable, but fear not. Fight with wisdom. Over here! Enemy sighted. Your wizard is under attack. Good, Ferox. Must be a scout for Cyrix. Good job finishing it off. If Cyrix is here, I will need to teach you a few more things. We will need a few souls to do much of anything. I think I see some up ahead. Follow me. Ah, here we go, a few lost souls for you to gather. You need souls to summon creatures. Most creatures require a single soul, but the more powerful ones use more. These souls are blue, which means they are pure and ready for your use. Blue souls may be collected simply by touching them. Now that you have a few souls, we need to summon some creatures. The first type of creature we will need is a mana whore. Open the spell tab on the left and cast the Summon Mana Horse spell by left-clicking on it. Good. This little guy is called a Mana Horse, as you may have guessed. He is not much of a fighter, but he is probably your most important creature. He channels mana from your mana liths to an area around him. Although a single Mana Horse is a much weaker source of mana than a mana lith, you can summon several to make up for their lack of power. Don't get carried away, though. A soul used for a mana whore could be used for a fighting creature instead. Try summoning another mana whore and a few other creatures to defend yourself with. Notice that when you summon a creature, it is automatically added to your selection. You are low on mana. Clatu Ferox Carpe. Someone is attacking your mana. Your building is under attack. You could run back there and deal with it, but the teleport spell is a better way to go. Your group one. Ranger here. Direct me. Ready. Strength and honor. Ranger. Your group two. Guard me. Already done. I. I. Your group three. Guard I. me. Nostro, master doctor. You are low on mana. Nostro, flam, king ketsu. The teleport spell can teleport you and your surrounding creatures to a building that you control. Open up the spell tab that contains your structures. Select the teleport spell from the list by clicking on it. Another victory! <laughs> Soon we will have no more enemies left, eh, wizard? Now your cursor is a targeting icon. Place the icon over the manolith or its icon on the minimap and left-click. This will teleport you there. Elorum Bethud Nathrak Kazam Elorum Animus Gazam Notice that the soul of the dead locust is red. That means that it is impure and must be cleansed by a ritual before we can use it. Walk over towards the dead locust, then open your spell tab that has to do with structures. Left click on the icon marked Convert in the spell list. Target the locust soul and left click. 
Klaatu, Pharmathrax, Dothdal, Virata, Klaatu, Saxo. This will summon one of those sack doctors we saw earlier. He is a spirit servant of the gods who will cleanse the soul, resurrect the creature and take it to your altar to be offered to your god. Once the ceremony at your altar is complete and your god accepts the soul, it will be transferred directly to you. Remember what I said earlier about sack doctors? They are notoriously shy when it comes to fighting. If they take enough damage, they will drop whatever they are doing and flee the battle. Now, when you feel up to the task, let's go find Cyrix and defeat her. Ranger here. Vermithrax, Ilil. Strength and honor. Your group too. Guard me. On the trail. Enemy sighted. Saxo Animus. Your creatures are under attack. Group three. Aye. Group one. Group two. Strength and honor. Your creatures are under attack. All is going well, but do not think Cyrix will fall easily. She is a wizard, much the same as you. That means she won't stay dead. Instead of just killing her, we need to banish her by finding and desecrating her altar. Group one. Bethud, Nathrak, Kazam, Mastodok, Domine. Latu, Carpe, Ferox, Denorum, Thorn, Dothdal. Damn, Vas, Nostro. Group 1. King Ketsu, Mastodon, DM. Your group 1. Guard me. Ferox, Flam, Animus, Ilil, Nostro, Saxo, Kazam, King Ketsu, Dothdal, Ilil, Nikto, Dothdal, Wodan, Bethud, Sunct, Ferox, Pharmathrax, Ferox. <coughs> Bovis, Sanct, Carpe, Wodan. Now that we have a manolith in a forward area that we control, we need to make sure that we keep it under our control. To provide us with some extra defense, we can use the Guardian spell. Move a creature near the manolith and stand near the creature. Now open up your structure spellbook. Left click on the Guardian spell and target the creature. DM, Wodan, Wodan, Ferox, Nikto, Nostro, King Ketsu. You see that red energy beam? That links the creature to the structure. 
He will absorb any damage that the structure takes. In turn, he will feed off of the energy of the structure and will gain increased statistics. Of course, he is now linked to the structure and cannot move very far away from it. This is a very powerful spell, and when used properly, it can turn the tide of battle. Three. I. Sankt Dothdo Nathrak. Gaza Mikto Wok. Him. Your group three. Guard me. I. You are low on mana. Group three. Ahem. La 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 la. Group two. Ranger here. Group one. Group two. Strength and honor. Rata. Enemy sighted. Kalpa. Flam. Klaatu. Kazam. Method. Pharma's Rax. DM. Your creatures are under attack. Invalid target. Sankt Wodan Denorum Kalpa Pejorative Nikto Krixa. Dost Enemy sighted. Wodan Bovis Animus Rock Animus. Group three. Direct me. Nikto Ferox Verata. I am <laughs> your group three. Guard me. Sallying forth. Invalid target. Enemy sighted. Kazam. Sankt. Pejorative. Berata. Rock. Nikto. Elorum. Nathrak. Elorum. Kazam. Animus. Nostro. Wodan. Nostro. Gaza. Rock. Carpe. Nikto. Wodan. Flam. Saxo. Carpe. Eliel. Mastodoc. Ah, there's Cyrix's altar. To put her out of the game, approach the altar and cast the Desecrate spell on one of your nearby creatures. This will sacrifice the targeted creature on the enemy altar. Matu, Kazam, Diem, King Ketsu, Kalpa, Flam, Wodan, Thorn, Ferox, Bethud, Sankt, Vas. Nikto, Ferox, Diem.
Enemy sighted. As the ritual progresses, it will damage Cyrix. If she dies while the ritual is in effect, her altar will be destroyed and she will be banished from this place. Justice has triumphed. Charnel will be incensed that Cyrix was defeated by one so young. You show great promise. Soon you shall join the ranks of our most honored mystics. Thank <laughs> you.